Some would argue this is the deepest division in the UFC right now. 145 pounds, a lot of killers at the top. This man has emerged out of the pack and gets his much-deserved title shot here tonight. From the moment he got to the UFC, he told us we were reviewing someone that could make an impact, a future champion that will remind us of the great featherweight champ Max Holloway, Jose Aldo Jr. He said, I am special. I will be a champion one day tonight. He gets the opportunity. Let's see if he can cash in. Now, it appeared as though the weight cut was a little bit difficult. He did not want to hear that noise, but that is behind him, and we'll see how it goes for him here on Saturday night. champion's radar has had a lot of big wins on his resume has yet to taste defeat inside the octagon and at least as far as the film is concerned daniel haven't seen much resembling a glaring weakness when it comes to the all-around game of arnold allen oh knee strike right to the bottom Just out of range with that strike. These boys are going at it. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four or five, six in a row. What a great job. Push kick there to the body. Back kick there. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Oh, big left hook there. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taken so many strikes to the head. Nice work with the knee there by Allen. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice technique on the side kick. Touched him with the strike there. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? Nice job by him defensively there. Head off the center line, slips the punch. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't wait to move out you don't get him as often as you'd like. So if you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. 
Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, he blocks a the shot there. Just out of range with that punch attempt. Allen gets caught by the inside leg. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Allen's swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Counters with a straight left. Under a minute to go. Left hook counter there yet again. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Back out, back out. Get some space now. 20 seconds left. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. We look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. He don't recover in a minute, so he needs to extend the recovery time. Fight at a slower pace. You cannot go in there slinging leather again, or he'll find the light shut out. Good defensive vision to block that punch. Allen gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Gotta love how it's playing out between these two offensively minded fighters early. Boom! Straight left hand. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Push kick there to the body. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You've got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Throwing that jab yet again, out of range. Snapped off the jab nicely there. Good jab. Nice counter shot there. 
Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old mark on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fighter in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's gonna keep going there. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Right hand counter. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Just over two minutes to go. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Beautiful head kick lands for this guy. Back and forth we go. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. As he opened up now. Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Big right hook up by Tim. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Under a minute to go. Lands a quick jab. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the game. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Huge block there. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Here we go, third round of this championship. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. My right, champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. But he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. So big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Targeting the body with the kick now. Oh, nice elbow. Works the body once again. 
Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. All right, so he lands his first takedown in the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Top man's going to have some work to do if we get to the store between now. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Nice transition. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. It looks like he's getting close to his arm triangle. All he's got to do now is isolate the arm, get his head down to the mat, and squeeze in his opponent while no choice but to tap. Oh, this could be the end of the fight. Looks like the it's fight is over, guys. It's done. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards the corner, and back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you, you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast tape. did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> oh, almost like you saw the spin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's going to have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling, because this guy is getting pieced up. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh! He's got to move. They're going to stop this fight if he doesn't move. Could be the beginning of the end here. 90 seconds to go now. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Allen's nose. Oh, he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, my goodness. What a kick. One minute now to go on the third. He didn't like that left hand. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. His nose is all crooked, it's all beat up, it's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. 20 seconds to go. Another one hurt. He's hurt bad. Seconds winding down in round three. Beautiful job getting those hands up. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot is every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? You ready? Go we ahead. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Yeah. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. Let's see who has the other hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, 
that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Allen's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Man, that cut is just nasty. So if you're the guy who cleans up the canvas, are you like rooting for this so you have a job to do? I mean, you want to do less as possible. You want to uh -huh. just sit there and watch. The reality is, though, he's got some work in front of him after this fight. And so does the cut, man. We are bloodied and battered here in the octagon. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Nice jab there to the body by Allen. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you got to... All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Well, if you like blood, this is the fight for you. Doesn't appear to be affecting his vision too badly right now. Looks as though he's going to let him play. Wow, he allows him to continue. Very surprising. Things are with it. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of a cut. I want to see the best fighter get their hand raised at the end of the night. Luckily, we get to try to do that. Beautiful hands on display. Another punch lands. Lands a good series of kicks here. Oh, and he caught the kick. While the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved with this. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's not bad. Allen gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Well, these gentlemen are absolutely going at it. Let's see who'll have the upper hand. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Under two minutes to go. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out of it. Well, that body kick was there earlier. You're not there on that attempt. Nice job blocking that punch. And he landed there as usual by Allen. Now they separate. Allen's making things really difficult for the opposition now as the fighter continues to target that damaged nose. Under a minute now to go. Nice body shot. Beautiful takedown lands there. Nice strike lands from the bottom line. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Nicely done. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Allen. Final seconds of round four. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish the fight. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face.
All right, that is the end of the round and some definite adversity for him here, or so you would think the cut on the bridge of the nose is only getting worse. And that nose might even be broken at this point in time. So certainly something that bears watching as we enter this next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, it's... Oh! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Missed with that right hand. Allen's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, nice kick. Allen gets hit by that leg kick. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. He hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Man, how good is this? Back and forth we go. Clean with the strikes tonight. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though them, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really has... Oh! Oh! Two minutes to go on the fight. The cut men on both sides have done an outstanding job of keeping these guys in this fight. Lands with the grounded pound here. triangle on the opposite side when he goes to finish look he's got it locked when he goes to finish he has oh submission defense on the ball display there he said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outside of the show in that defense well he put so much stock into this fight and now we're late in the game and if he doesn't get a finish this opportunity goes by the board i mean it's almost over Right. All right, so the referee has called for the doctor. This could very well mean the end of the fight. Yeah, the fight's over. There's too much damage. This fight needs to be done. Not sure if the nose is broken or just busted up, but blood is splattered everywhere. Yeah, that's going to do it. That's the end of the fight. So that's a the disappointing right call. conclusion, but the right call. The right call, John. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declared the winner by TKO and still the undisputed 